today, my friends. I shall debunk practically nearly every single video where Tyrannosaurus Rex is the biggest, baddest, whatever is. But what if I told you that there was another top dog that moved into town? Another villain. Younger. Hungrier. T-Rex lately, and the three new Carcharodontosaurids, have been getting their reps into the hierarchy of Megatheropods. Kelmaiosaurus two years ago, Tarovander just last week, but a third in the shadows that has been lurking around that was just so much bigger and stronger it has been around under my age and yours most likely, yet none of us seem to know it. But I feel that this mystery dinosaur should stay this way, not to be discovered or to be found out. Why? Because nearly every single dinosaur that rose to fame has gotten fanboys and braggarts with people saying, I know it, you don't. Too bad, I know every single dinosaur, so aha, take me on. I miss those days. This dinosaur has gone through many synonymy contentions, missed out on every single opportunity to make it to a book, but in the end never really has, except one, one particular book that no one cares about that much either, one that may have triggered some severe xenophobia, or just because kids only want to read about T-Rex and imagine themselves speaking to an audience and turning everyone's hearts. But I miss this stoic dinosaur, enough ranting, let's talk. Named in 2012, the holotype of this dinosaur was bought from a Moroccan fossil dealer who had again obtained it from an unknown source, presumably the Kem Kem beds or the El Raz formation. It consisted of an eye bone that was extremely incomplete, but thick, and measured an approximate 7.3 inches in length. Frontals are terrible estimate size or reliability. What we do know is that it belonged to a Carcharodontosaur, one that was either so small or towered over the tyrant king itself. But by that, what do I mean? Since skull structure is extremely diverse among specimens, and we do know that the ecology had more to mess around with than animal size than phylogeny, telling us this size of this creature is going to be so difficult, not because of how incomplete it is, but also because we don't know exactly where it's from. Here is the bone sized up with the largest specimens of these particular carcharodontosaurs that showed each different body proportions to match their niches. I also included along with that their size estimates and body type to give a respective idea on how this dinosaur might look like. It seems that it fits in so perfectly, either with Carcharodontosaurus or Eocarcharia. But can they be from the same specimen? Now keep in mind that the holotype specimen of Eocarcharia was the left portion of the skull, whereas this other dinosaur was a right frontal. Carcharodontosaurus was found with both of its frontals in a complete er skull, so it cannot be the same specimen. Or could it? We probably will never know. But what we do know is that this frontal is extremely robust and stuck out at the sides a lot. But before I show you those things, why does it seem that was just so small? Because it fits in so well. Laterally, Carcharodontosaurus have relatively thin skulls compared to that of Tyrannosaurus, but this bone is another story. See for yourself, here it is with Acrocanthosaurus and it fits in quite well. But since that's a little small, let's see what with someone bigger. Uh oh. Uh, oh dear, and Eocarcharia had a small head, um, too, as well, so, uh, uh, eh, um, this man, right here. It would have terrorized the Ken, Ken beds as the apex predator, bowling everything in its way, including Spinosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and the large sauropods, the true king of the African continent, the king of the dinosaurs. It would have never saw a T-Rex in its entire life, but had everything to gloat about during the 50 years it would have lived on the world. Enter Sauroneops Pachytholus, killer of kings, lord of the lizard eaters. Using the proportions of Giganotosaurus and Acrocanthosaurus, we can get an animal that was around the size of 13 feet at the hip, at least 43 feet long, and a whopping 12.2 tons. Keep in mind two things. One, we obviously don't know the exact size for any dinosaur given the immense diversity in size among species. This is like saying we have found the largest Tyrannosaurus rex specimen, which in reality the chances of that are next to zero. Speaking of which, Bertha, a new Tyrannosaurus, may have been larger than Eco and has not been formally estimated size-wise, but for now, this dinosaur remains the uncontested in Africa. It arrivals and it even surpasses the size of its South American relatives. This is a monster, my friends. The one we waited for. The final stand. Thanks to all of you who watched this video to learn something new. 
Make sure you like it, subscribe, and ring that bell icon to see more cool dinosaur and kaiju related content. Go see some of my latest polls and be sure to check out another video in the series. But for those Rex fans who are coping, I want to appreciate you so much. Remember, a dinosaur size, especially between two large theropods of all time, especially when stats are so close, isn't going to really matter in a fight like this. Or would it come back soon? A new challenger awaits.